beauty people. I was just filming some content for the course, which as you can tell is going to be extremely fun. And then I got the insight and the download to share a little bit about the completion process that we're going through as we, yeah, end this blue lunar storm year. But before I move into that, just to say like, Something that I've realised recently, which is one of my superpowers, is that I can translate super complex things and super deep things with humour that makes the whole integration and receiving process a lot more palatable. So, if you are interested in the stuff that I share on here, if you're interested in the Galactic Mayan Calendar, if you feel like you're a starseed, if you are ready to really live online in the physical, I don't mean online in this realm, um, but with yourself fully activated, come do the course. It's going to be so good. Like from transmissions, you know, you can receive so much as is probably demonstrated by the fact that you watch this YouTube channel and any other YouTube channels that you witness. It's like, we've all got different channels that bring through different insight, but I think the thing that makes Galactic Mind Astrology so empowering is that once we understand the frequency of it, once we understand how to live through it, it's like synchronicity just takes, takes all of everything else. So yes, link below, but for now. Oh, actually, yeah, because people might not have even seen. So I'm running a course um, for 20 days throughout the entire Lionsgate portal. We begin on the 24th of July, 2021, and it's essentially this course is about equipping you to live galactically, to understand who you are as a cosmic being, and understand your relationships from a cosmic perspective, and really get the conscious evolution process, you know, through the galactic mind calendar it's very good it's very exciting um and yes yeah, so we're running through the whole lionsgate portal we're going to be also journeying through many ceremonies so we're going to be meeting live through the internet um and yeah like really exploring all of these energies in different ways so we're going to bring it into the body through movement we're going to bring it into connection through ceremony. And there's gonna be lots and lots of different beautiful star seeds joining as well. So there's a huge community aspect. So again, link below, you can check that out. But for now, let's get back to it, shall we? So, July, 2019, we entered a 13 year cycle. And the 13 year cycle is White Wizard. So basically we have our own 13 year cycle, which we go into on the course. But then we also have the Earth's 13 year cycle, and we are part of the Earth, if you didn't know. <laughs> so essentially, the 26th of July is like the Earth's birthday. And the reason that galactically that's chosen as the new year, which again, we're gonna be journeying through consciously on the course, is because of Sirius. So the Lion's Gate portal is about Sirius and the constellation of Leo. And essentially when the 26th of July would come round, in Egypt, for example, the Nile would flood, but there would also be a seeming like rising of Sirius from the dead. Almost as if Sirius dis well, it did disappear from view and then rebirthed. So again, we kind of go into the Isis and Osiris, Jesus, Mary Magdalene story within that book. That's for another moment on the course. <laughs> um, but, so we have this like 13 year cycle that we're going through, as well as the 13 day wave spell processes. So it's like the mirror. And on the 26th of July, 2019, you can have a look at the video that I shared um, on that date. We began this 13 year cycle. And the White Wizard is all about us dropping into the alchemists that we are and aligning to essentially being the shaman, the realm explorer, being awake, 
you know, and a wick can mean so many different things, can't it? And it's super like distorted in a lot of ways. Like, oh yes, I'm awake and that person's asleep. And it's like, nah, we're all awake in different realms and asleep in other realms, you know, because we're complex reflections of the totality of existence. But we can hack this human being vessel. We can live life and create in alignment with the highest potential for all of us. But we have to be the one that aligns with that. It's no good sat waiting for the savior. You know, the whole process of being a conscious human is being able to align. And then when we align, the whole reality aligns to that frequency too. The other thing that I'm really recognizing is that more and more people are remembering that they're star seeds, feeling it in their bodies, feeling it in their beings. There's like a real integration that seems to be landing now. And so this 13 year process is about us as a collective moving from super sleepy beanie to wow, we are the conscious creator. So last year, we went into the second year of that process and the second year of that process was the energy of blue lunar storm. Now, I don't really talk much about world events on here because I feel like everything is very political and I also feel that everybody's a sovereign being and has the ability to navigate from their own truth. But that said, in 2019, a global situation went down and regardless of the duality stories within it what that has forced us to do is transmute and transform in very different ways we've all had these different experiences that have been supporting us to transform so the first year of the process was the initiation shit this is what's going down this is what we're working with now yeah, so that first year of the global situation, that's what's going down. Second year, blue lunar storm year. Ooh, the lunar energy can sometimes be a bit like, because it's a new, new learning coming in, it's a new energy. And often what that means is like the reveal of the shadow. You know, for me, lunar is very much about like what lies beneath. So if we look at again, you know, the journey that we've all been going through on a collective level, in that second, you know, since last July, the reality of the global situation has bed in for us now. And within that, we've all had our personal triggers and experiences within that, from limitation to fear to whatever. And it's been also very interesting to witness what else has been coming up to the surface for us collectively. So all of these experiences of oppression historically that have not been taken responsibility for, that have not been acknowledged and integrated into part of the human history, evolution, fuck, we really got it wrong process, are coming up to the surface. And there's this like beautiful harmonizing space that we're reaching through this process because it all has to come to the surface and that's the bit that's challenging and that's the bit that has been so fucking challenging about you know this whole thing that's been going on since 2019 and the whole thing of the wizard it's like we it's the alchemy process the wizard so in order to get that mystical wisdom in order to get that creative power we have to make the subconscious realm conscious and since 2019, the collective subconscious realm, in my feeling, has flipped onto the surface of reality. So all of the restrictions, all of the things that were going on underneath the surface, all of the fears, all the things that have been operating within us have been lived and actualized on the surface. It's not like, oh, I think my subconscious tripped me up there. It's been like, bam, it's there, it's in our faces. But what that then gives us the opportunity to do is feel it we have to feel it we have to express it 
So this subconscious energy has come out to the top. Then we get to actually experience it because we're not running away from it because we can't run away from it. Literally, we can't leave the bloody country. We can't go nowhere. It's getting a little bit better now. But... So we've really been in this like integration process of all of the things that have been coming up for us. So, yeah, the thing that really wants to be said within that is that just recognise that it's always divine order and the thing for me that the galactic mind calendar brings is the human being evolution process the human being's evolution is the evolution of reality is the evolution of consciousness and that's really what we are here to do we're here to evolve consciousness back into create a consciousness modality but the interesting thing that I'm finding now, there's like so many different pieces of this. I find it fascinating that there are so many souls on the planet at this time. And that in itself feels incredibly significant. It's like, you know, there's, there's so, so many beings here for this process. And the other thing that feels really significant also is like a part of the thing that I've been bringing through and researching, because that's another really big part of my code, like channel and the researcher combined um, is this thing of at times of high society on the planet we look at like the Egyptians and the Maya and Atlantis and Lemuria and you know these different moments on the planet different civilizations on the planet and there are other civilizations that I've not made reference to there but there hasn't been a time there hasn't been a moment where people living at conscious creator consciousness <laughs> have been all over the earth. There's been like the little pockets. This town, this country, this place on the planet. That's been activated now. Bing! People are living in a different way, creating new things. But then, other places on the planet. Have not been operating at that so it's not been collective reality and now we're all over the internet the world wide web we're all over and i know in different dimensions and realities we've always been able to connect with each other on a you know on a psychic level but there's something very interesting that's happening on a vibration level through the internet so the ability to affect vibration was historically get everybody together in a room. But now we've got this internet thing. We're bringing that vibrational connection and heightening in a different way. So the thing to mention in that piece is also Saturn's now in Aquarius. Saturn was in Aquarius when the internet was birthed, when this whole new way of relating, connecting, vibrating was birthed. Saturn's in the same place now. On the 24th of July is the final day of the blue lunar storm year. And that's when the course is starting. But it's also full moon in Aquarius. And I've been saying this for a while, it's fascinating to me the way that things are lining up now, the way that the Western astrology and the galactic mind calendar, it's like the galactic, there's something in the galactic mind calendar which means that we, when we live through that, we are aligning to the galactic aspect of our reality. So we're not just holding ourselves within our own solar system, we're zooming out and we're connecting in with the greater whole which continues on and on forever. But there's something in that, like, that zoom out bigger picture, which is very, very, very Aquarius. And there's also, within that, this idea of the age of Aquarius and all the rest of it. The Mayans planting their time frequency into 2012, bringing themselves to our awareness so that we can step through this portal now, at this time on the planet. There's just so many different pieces that are aligning and it's fascinating as I say 
to me that this like if we look at the mirror of humans awakening all over the planet and that then supporting us to align with the galactic whole of the universe or not the universe the galaxy there's something really massive it's like we're bringing Gaia back online you know we kind of knocked ourselves out a little bit which was exactly as it should be because we came to play a game we came to have some fun the fun of duality but it's exciting to uh, explore what's on the other side of that so i'm going to do another video in a few days to bring through some energy around what is going to be the themes of our coming year from July the 26th. You might have noticed, but Jyoti, you said that the year ends on July the 24th, and then you're saying July the 26th is the new year. Oh yes, 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 my darlings. 365 days in a year. And when we do the 13 moon calendar, 28 days, 28 days, 28 days, 28 days, we get a bonus day on our journey around the sun. And that bonus day is supposed to be thrown in at the end of February, just to make it even more unpatterned and stressful for our fucking nervous systems to tune into time. Rant for another moment. The 25th of July is officially the day out of time. And the day out of time is essentially a day where we are able to drop the stories, to drop the human mess, and to really consciously reconnect with the celebration of what it is to be on this planet, of what it is to be in a human body, of what it is to be feeling and experiencing this whole magical, mystical thing that's shrouded in mystery but has this beautiful synchronicity that keeps revealing little doors of the divine to us. It's fucking cool, this reality. And the 25th of July is a day to celebrate time as art, which essentially for me means the celebration of what this reality is. This reality is art. This reality is creation playing. We are creation playing. And sometimes we use black paint and sometimes we use different colors and we smush them all together and they end up mucky. And sometimes we bash so hard on the piece of paper that it rips and it just becomes an absolute mess. But the reality is that it's always play. And that's what the kids are here to teach us. And this is why the young people are so important and why we cannot continue to put them in conditioning factories that support them to forget who they are. Again, that's a rant for another time. But for now, my darlings, have a magical day. Enjoy rounding off this blue lunar storm year. Have a little bit of a reflect, a grid in. Ah yes, this is exactly the wave that was meant to be experienced. This is exactly what humanity needs to evolve in order to drop back into bloody play. So yes, 24th, we start the course. Are you coming? going to be very exciting. If you haven't looked at the link already, have a little look at it because I think and I feel that you might actually be like, oh, I really want to do that because it's going to be next level if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, darlings. And if you can't see, I think you can't see, it kind of looks like I'm naked. I do have a top on. Would be fine if I was naked, but I just wanted to let you know. Whee! I have to lean quite forward when I'm filming videos. That's all for now. Bye, darling.